The body of 30-year-old Pamela Pemberton was found nearly a decade ago, not far from where the FBI found human remains on Friday. The remains could be that of Christina Atkins. There are striking similarities between the two cases. The two women disappeared from the same West 25th Street area. Pemberton, just a few months before Atkins vanished. Sources confirmed that Elias Alcevedo is a person of interest in the Atkins case and now could be linked to the Pemberton case. He was arrested in June for not registering as a sexual offender and... and then also there was a warrant for the DNA cold case on him. So he had a long history of, of uh, rapes and, uh, and serious crimes. But where he was arrested might surprise you. It did Brian Fitzgibbon, one of the U.S. Marshals making the arrest that day. Acevedo was asleep on his mother's couch at her Seymour Avenue home, right across the street from the house where Ariel Castro held Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight captive for a decade. When he was sweating it out, he kept asking us, why are the U.S. Marshals here? Um, and he was trying to get information out of us, and we told him we were going to bring him to, to the detectives that were going to interview him for the cold case. Henrietta Bell lives on Seymour Avenue. She watched her street make headlines for Castro now again. It is shocking that there's another predator on this street. It was a 1993 cold case that led police to Acevedo. So far, Cleveland police have submitted thousands of rape kits for DNA testing, testing that has solved crimes. They were cases that uh, we had no more leads. Uh, the cases were reviewed and uh, basically until further leads became available, uh, the cases weren't being investigated.